My name is uh, Nilesh Sharma. Thank you for having me, Joe. I'm uh, 30 years old, uh, born and raised in Toronto. I went to school at the uh, University of Guelph, but uh, I never really had a passion uh, work-wise. I never really knew what it was that I wanted to do. I just kind of went through the motions with school and education. I didn't really see myself as someone doing a nine to five desk job. In, uh, in college, I uh, had this idea to start my own uh, clothing brand. And uh, it took some time to get the, the pieces going. In uh, 23 years later, I, I launched my own, uh, I did launch my clothing brand called Eckhart Soul. And we, uh, we work with local artists from the city and put their art on men and women's clothing. Yeah, we, we work with some of the best, most popular street artists in the city, which is, which is really awesome. The quality of the clothing is what, what people really, really like. So, people yeah. know when they're buying something from my company, they're getting, they're getting like a work of art, but they're also getting something that's really, really good good high quality. I mean, I thought that uh, my friends were going to be the ones that were going to really help this company grow. My first t-shirt release was a skyline design. Didn't really have much of an idea what I was doing. Just ordered 200 t-shirts, white and black. Uh, a website that was just done from a web designer. Just the operation was pretty, like I didn't really have much direction going there. And my good friends were buying these uh, in single quantity. And, and then, I started realizing as time went by that I wouldn't be able to keep this going just with my friends. Like I couldn't just do it with the f support of my friends. I had to branch out and have strangers buy my clothing. Yeah, it felt nice to make to make money, but the main problem we had was that there, we weren't making enough money because, I mean, I couldn't just rely on my five friends to buy hundreds of t-shirts from us. We would be advertising on, on social media platforms like Facebook, um, Instagram, and when we'd do a sale, we'd make like limited runs, so you'd have like two weeks to buy the product or like a week just so people knew that it was time sensitive. And if you missed out in that week or two, you'd be, you'd, be, you'd be done. You couldn't buy it anymore. It wouldn't be released again. So it made the value of the, it made people want the product even more. Um, running a business kind of forces you to like develop your creativity, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, I was really blessed to be working with uh, one of the most popular artists in this in the city um joe you've actually purchased one of those shirts and it's a very iconic uh face image that's all over the city and it's it's known it's very popular in north america and also like in other parts of the world i was blessed to, to work with that artist and that artist has kind of helped my brand grow in a very in a very positive way I to say like I, I was really frustrated with my clothing brand because I mean, we'd be making sales, but we'd be making sales here and there, but they weren't enough. You're selling t-shirts at $30 a piece, but then you also have to split the profits with the artist. You have to pay for the photographers. There's, there's tons of different things that go on when you do a release. You also have to make sure people like the design. If people don't like the design, people aren't gonna buy it. Yeah, yeah. You can put all this work into creating this really cool release and then it just doesn't become a success, right? So I, I specifically remember a phone call we, I, we had before I uh, hired you and um, you asked me how much money I make and I had uh, no idea. It was really amateur, I was like really embarrassed. You were like, how much money are you making a month? And like, I was like, I, I, I I couldn't tell you like it, it wasn't much it was enough to get by but it was just it was amateur mm -hmm. many people have wanted me to take their to do coaching with them but there was something really genuine about you that you came from a place of you're really humble you really it was like you you really cared about my business and it wasn't even much of a business at that time. And you, you, it's like you knew the struggles I was facing. Because I remember I wanted to go on a 90 day trip to Europe and you were really, you were like, you didn't want me to do that because you knew that if I left for 90 days, like whatever that business was that I had would have been even, even worse off. I mean, you were doing uh, phone calls with me even before I was paying you. And, and that's when I knew that you really cared 
And I remember before I went to Indonesia, I, I told myself, I was like, Joe is the person that I want to hire. He, he really does care. He knows his stuff. And if there's any chance of me to have a successful business, I'm going to need Joe's help. I, I did my vacation, which was an expensive trip for me. I didn't have that much money in the bank. But when I came back, I just knew that working with you was, was only going to help my business in the long run. Well, I think uh, we had a discussion because um, you knew about, I told you all about Eckhart Soul. I also was working on something else. It was another side business. Like this is where I'm talking about golden eye printing. I, I really do like the wearable art, working with the artists and making real cool stuff for, for, for people in the city and people all over the world. But I also thought that there were businesses and organizations in the city that could also benefit from this type of like cool stuff that we do. So that's where I got this idea of, you know, why don't I start helping grow other companies, brands, other organizations, start working with schools, yoga studios, gyms. Yeah, so I've worked with this uh, rock climbing gym called uh, Boulders. They're like one of the, the biggest rock climbing gyms in the city. Funny enough, like as soon as uh, you and I started working together, they placed like the biggest order I've ever I've ever, I've ever done in my life. They placed like a $20,000 order. And like that cool. month, the first month we worked together, I had like my, my best month ever. I think it was like a $30,000 sales. And I made like maybe even more than $10,000 that month. I just felt like having you there by me, by my side, it was like, you were just a really good motivating factor. And you always, you pushed me to want to like do more and just, just work work even harder and then we started working together and w working on the name of the company we came up with the name together and yeah we started building a brand and shaping a like defining what this new company is and what it does right yeah like i got i got a sale from a from a really popular pizza pizza restaurant in toronto uh one of the the biggest yoga studios in toronto called octopus garden yoga center and then uh, a crossfit gym that has like ordered uh i believe like close to twenty thousand dollars worth of garments since i've been working with joe that's that's a huge thing for me like i've actually with that with your help i've actually created a business that's working for me the first i guess the first couple things were just you know getting uh getting a good business card uh with both businesses eckhart soul on the front golden eye on the back they both work with one another as i said with eckhart soul you have uh you're working with local artists um making really cool designs putting it on high quality garments and then with golden eye printing we we create really high quality um uh, garments and printing for our clients. If they want our artists to have fun with their with their logos, we have some of the best artists in the city that can help them with that. I, I used to not be the biggest fan of, of making phone calls. I used to refer to them as, as cold calling and, you know, working with Joe, he's, you know, we, 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 they're actually called warm, warm calls. You know, we, I actually like having conversations with people and, and even if you don't, uh, have a, even if the phone call, you don't, you don't get a sale or you don't get a meeting out of it. I mean, one, one really good thing that you've taught me, Joe, is, is like, try to, try to see the positive in everything. Joe, if you, if you told me that, like, before my trip to Indonesia, uh, like eight months later, I was going to have my own custom printing business and working with like 15 new, new solid clients and getting referrals and, making almost $70,000 in sales at, from now on, I would have thought that that was, that just what would it be possible. And with your, with your help, I mean, we've, we like all that stuff is actually, it's come true. Um, I didn't know how much money I was making. I didn't know my sales. And then I started talking to an accountant and we made a really good spreadsheet for me with, uh, which takes care of all my, um, has all my sales from uh, since we've began GoldenEye printing, all the sales, all the profit, the cost of the garments, the cost of the printing. It tells me, it just, it's just a really solid sheet that tells me how much exactly. I've made. So the accounting, accounting is in place. And I mean, I'm just at about close to 70,000 in sales since, uh, since we've been working together. And to me, that's, 
that's just huge because it's only getting it's only getting bigger and bigger it's easier if someone tells me they need to order a thousand t-shirts that might scare someone off but i actually have a really good printing facility we have proper systems in place now where i can take the thousand dollar t-shirt order we can do the ten thousand units we can do like any volume we have it like uh mapped out perfectly we can take care of any sort of order now yeah. relationship with your vendors improve now that you're placing these bigger orders really, they're really happy with what's with what i've done i mean i don't think they were expecting my uh um I, that i could go from eckhart sold to like an actual custom printing business that's I mean of course giving them a lot of business too and uh, because of that I mean they also give me discounts we, we really do take care of our clients and I think that's why people are willing to work with us and and pay the money uh, that they do before I met you Joe I didn't have much of a direction I was spinning all over the place with a business that was that wasn't doing well I, I didn't know how much money I made and because of you and, and, and your, your smarts, like we've created something really special I that I know has a lot of potential. So when I just had my one business, as I mentioned, there wasn't too much direction there. And, and I really didn't know um, how I'd be getting my next sale. And, and the other problem was, was, there was too much reliance on one artist or two artists. I didn't have like a full roster of artists. But now when I look at uh, my custom my custom printing business, like I'm getting phone calls from people I've never met being like, hey, I, I, I wanna place a 200, 200 uh, unit t-shirt order with you. Uh, I wanna get a contract started with you. I want you to help me out. Now that I have a website, people are sending me emails being like, oh, I, oh, I would like this done. I would like this done for my business. I mean because of the stuff we've done there, I, I do feel really hopeful because I sometimes I'll just get, get calls when I'm at the gym of, of someone being like, Oh, I need a 250 unit order. You know, it just, it just seems to be a lot more consistent now. I'm not, I'm not left in this like thinking game where I'm wondering when is the next sale like happening or, 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 or what, what's going to happen. I don't feel lost. Absolutely. I mean, now when I go to my meetings, I bring my samples, I bring, I bring everything with me. I bring the flyer that we worked on, which is literally, it's just like a, a nice, a nice flyer, uh, um, which is just like, it's like my business on a page. It's just, it's just those little things that you can do that can really help your business. And, and also my website, it's, uh, it's I mean, it needs a little bit of work, but it's, it's a really easy to navigate website. Um, people go on it and it's just a way for people to take you more seriously. We have our uh, testimonials on there, some of the work we've done in the past. So all of this, all of these things are just building blocks. Uh, it's just a, a, a better experience for the client. It makes me, it makes me feel great. I mean, what, but, but one thing I do know working with you, Joe, is that there's always more that can be done. I thought that after having a website, things would just be a breeze. Like there, you, you really, there, there's a lot of work that needs to be there, done. There uh, is no finish line here. It's constantly working on yourself, working on your business. One thing that's really important is to, that you've taught me is to celebrate the victories. When something good happens, you got to take time and celebrate celebrate the, the little victories that you have with your business, whether it's a 50 t-shirt order or, or, or a positive phone call or, you know, you got to take time and, and, and be happy with that. With business, there's always going to be highs and lows, but what you need to be able to, what you need to be able to be good at is how to like, Ma manage the hot like be, be happy with with the highs but when things get low you can also be able to accept it and know that that's just a part of the game i only plan to sign up with you for three months i mean in in my first month working with joe i made like ten thousand dollars in profit which is probably more than like the full year of eckhart soul i know when i'm working with i, I know that when I hire you that you're, you're behind, you have my back, like 150%. No, you care so much about, about the people, not even just the people you work with. You're a caring person. You know, your stuff. You, you know, you hired me. Why did you rehire me? It just made sense. That was why. Like yeah. we've only been working 10 months and, um, you still have tons more to teach me. You have tons more to show me. Like three months was just, 
a little appetizer. People might be scared to invest in, in self and in, in coaching, but um, someone like me, I mean, this was the, my first time paying for coaching and, and within the first month I had already paid off like the whole coaching, the whole three months of coaching. Right. Yeah. Multiplied. And, um, and I know you've had those types of results with, with a lot of people too. It's not just like a flash in the pan or something like that. Like you, you do guarantee wonderful results with everyone you work with. Yeah. I hired Joe and it paid for itself and by a lot, it multiplied my, my, uh, my income. I didn't have a business before hiring Joe. I, I didn't have, I didn't know how much money I was making. Having Joe in my life has been an absolute blessing and I'm really happy that we cross paths and I'm, we're going to be doing a lot more work together in the future. Yeah, so we came up with this really cool idea to uh, Joe and I um, to make a really cool design, a good uh, uh, design representing Toronto. So I got one of my designers to work on something super, like super unique, really, really, really cool. And the plan was to just give that out uh, to customers and, clients and and new people that I had met just as a way to like show them the, the quality of work that we can do but then we realized why don't we try to use this design as like the Toronto design like the new hot cool sweet Toronto design that anyone would everyone would want to wear we're like in the works of getting an amazing Toronto t-shirt and the hope is to get it into all sorts of different venues in the city yeah, we went on Google Images during one of the coaching, uh, during one of our coaching calls, searched Toronto t-shirts and everything was just really blah, like nothing, nothing of class, just very, very boring and just didn't have that uh, artistic expression that we can do. So this design is going to represent the city. We've got the Raptors, Toronto Raptors. We've got the Blue Jays. We've got the hockey teams. Anyone that's into sports is going to like it. Anyone that loves the city is going to like it. Uh, the plan is to get it into some big, big venues like the CN Tower, the film festivals, um, trying to get some connections with the uh, the sports teams, see if they'll they'll be be they'll want to carry it. The design's amazing. Yeah, and and this could crack open a whole new revenue stream for you, right? Exactly. Well, I mean, the big thing is, uh, uh, as you know, Joe, I do love to travel, and and the plan for me one day is to be able to be in other parts of the world and fulfill my orders from Japan or from Indonesia or in Europe. Um, the coaching that we've done together, you've, you've helped make that, uh, like you've helped make that, that dream a reality. I would say that with confidence, I could make orders from other parts of the world. And back when I went to Indonesia a year ago, before we were working together, I didn't think that would be possible. I mean, Joe, you are the, you are the digital nomad. You are the, you are the person that, that inspires me because you, you do your work from all over North America. Just the way you can do it. I, I see myself as being able to do it as well. I mean, I do think it's going to need a couple more systems, to get a little bit more systems in place, get some more solid clients. I'm fully confident in being able to be in another part of the world and ha get an email saying I need 250 t-shirts and then being able to relay that information to my printing team and have them UPS anywhere in the world and get get the product to the to the customer I think I can do that with confidence now I you know guys I just want to say that before hiring Joe I was really lost I had no sense of direction I didn't have much of a purpose um, I was my business was just going through the motions there wasn't really much of a future because there was too much reliance on other people and that's all changed because of Joe's help uh, with his help I mean I've started a new business. I have my website. I'm getting referrals. I'm getting big orders. And this has been, it's not a coincidence that this has been my, my best year ever with Joe by my side. I just want to say, I know there's people out there that are fearful about paying for coaching, but I just want to say that Joe is the best coach out there. He cares about you. He cares about he, he cares about helping you. He wants you to win. And because of Joe, he's, he's turned me into a winner. 
about a year ago, I, I would say, yeah, my business, it wasn't even much of a business. I didn't even know how much money I made. I, it was a complete amateur show. And with Joe's help now, 10 months later, I feel like I'm in the big leagues um, making moves, um, uh, doing really well. And I know that there's going to be some, some big things coming up for me in the future. And I, I, a lot of that has to do, most of that has to do with Joe's help. And I just thank you so much for being a part of my life. Thank you for, um, you know, not only learning from me, but implementing and putting things into action and, and really making the changes to improve not only your business, but your life. Absolutely. My life has changed because of Joe.